Let your actions unfold. Don't predict them. Don't know what you're going to do. Uh, this is a big trap and it suffocates the spontaneity of life, which is what life is. Uh, to try and bend life into to, to, to satisfy your projections or your fantasy is a kind of dying. It's a suffocation. It's a, a unnatural and joyless thing. And yet to be prepared and expect all these things of the future is what we're taught as a way to live. Yes. And a way to function. There are so much uh, misunderstanding and uh, it's like we have taken a tap uh, some kind of tablet for depression, for becoming depressed. <laughs> the tablet of a uh, certain kind of conditioning is just to make you depressed and narrow-minded and afraid and uh, judgmental and weak. But that's <clears throat> become almost a kind of global paradigm that uh, that uh, we seem to trust in that, you know, but it, it, these are the standards that we live by. But in actual fact, they, they rob you of something. A human being's life can be tremendously powerful and potent, inspiring and full of joy and inspiring I feel is a is a very very powerful uh, indication no? because our lives do touch each other's it does it does we do cross over into through and beyond and uh, so what we emit and radiate through our own uh, as our own light and from the source of our own self is key and uh, the, our m too much mental condition psychological condition inhibits this light or you know somehow blocks <clears throat> uh, this light as it were you know um, I don't feel that the light it can be damaged but it can it's just like uh, pulling a curtain can block out the Sun uh, too much mentalizing too much conditioning does somehow seem to eclipse or cover over, overshadow the, the pure light of our being. And it seems as, as, as we continue to be in that state, we come into a state of sleep where it seems not to matter that we have such depth, unexplored areas within our own being. And this is the gift of life that we should find out about ourselves, explore and to see in all the areas we move within our being that uh, there's this beautiful light, this, this God Self is here, this, uh, this sense of a, a totality, a, a harmony is there. And uh, it fears a sadness here that uh, these, this is, uh, remains much unexplored inside ourselves. So I would love to keep encouraging the human being, knowing that they are really a very powerful manifestation of God. And that they can, we, we, they, we, I, you, same thing, continue to, to stay open, so that we, to staying open is a master key, because if you're not open, you will not move. Something will just dry up in you. But to be open, which is itself uh, an aspect of the light, uh, allows that, 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 that which can uh, manifest as as grace and power and wisdom and joy and and all of this to sort of come to the foreground to be manifest to be to be known to be recognized and uh, in in this world so salutations to humanity uh, for its for its inherent power uh, more yet to be explored and by the grace of God. That we
which is exalted to the one